Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Deep Rock Guide series, uh, solely for Has 5. Uh, today we're going to do an NG run. Uh, we don't have the mission selected yet, but we're going to talk about a build I'm going to play this time. This time I'm going to play a stubby build, and we're going to run EM Refire Booster, which gives you significantly faster rate of fire, bonus electrical damage, but it decreases, or, but it increases your base spread. Alright, for the stubby build, we're going to go with the damage in the first tier. You could also consider going with the better chance to ele electrocute target if you're wanting some more uh, electrocution. This is a very good ability. It causes a lot of slowing. I'm pretty sure electrocution also increases the damage. Yeah, take a small amount of damage. Uh, so that's really, really good. That was either one you want. I, I'm going to run the DPS this time, but maybe we'll test this another time to see how it stacks up. Uh, for the second tier, we're going to run an improved rate of fire. Uh, you definitely want some DPS on this, and with this, you're going to be shooting pretty quick. The third tier, we're going to do damage over the ammo. This is a lot of ammo, mind you, but I think we're going to do some damage, rely a little bit on our turrets a little bit, so we don't have to completely do all the work ourselves. Uh, so we don't need as much ammo. Uh, for the fourth tier, instead of hollow point bullets, we're going to get a little bit uh, in the electric field. We want, we definitely want that. For the fifth tier, we're going to go with the magazine tweak this time. You could easily go the electric arc, I believe, but with the the rate of fire improved, I'm going to see how this stacks up. So I'm going to run 50 this time to be safe. So since we're on the electric theme, let's go with our breach cutter build, which we are going to go with the high voltage crossover overclock. This was recommended to me by X1 Alpha Crime Fighter, who left a lot of helpful comments. Um, he says he's been going this one for a while. I've never done it before, but I'm pretty excited uh, as it electrocutes, uh, decreases your magazine capacity, but we're not really worried about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with the projectile duration in the first tier. We're going to go with the loosened node cohesion in the second tier. In the third tier, we're going to go with the quick deploy. I really like the quick deploy. We're going to attempt every now and then to pull off this animation cancel that he talks about. Uh, we'll, I'll try to mention it a little more in the video. Apparently, this works with the Warthog mainly. I think it may also work with this gun. But if right as you see, start the reload, and as soon as you see the ammo number change in the lower right corner, tap a pickaxe or a laser pointer button, and you completely skip the rest of the animation. So we're going to test that out and see if it works. I bet it does work, and I may not ever get it, but we're going to try it once or twice and see if I can pull it off. Be better the Warthog, but I wanted to do a little bit of a different build this time uh, than the last one. Uh, we're going to go with the armor breaking. You could easily go stun here. It's kind of preference. Um... I'm going to try armor breaking out because I do kind of want it. I, I use these a lot for Praetorians, so this would make a lot of sense. Stun, you could also argue, makes sense for Praetorians. Up to you. Up to you, really. Uh, and then we're going to go with the triple split line. I like that one a lot. And then that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go with the better weight balance on the pickaxe to get more swings, obviously. For the LNG gun platform, we're going to go with two turrets. We're going to go with quicker deploy, as also uh, suggested by our friend... X1 Alpha Crime Fighter, he had a good point that a lot of times in ambushes or something like that, you're going to need to just put one down instead of refilling one or something like that. Uh, so having a quick refill or lots of ammo isn't necessary. Uh, he also pointed out that since the turrets aim at the center mass, that going armor breaking is potentially actually very good as it will shoot at the middle of Praetorians and break their armor for you. So that can be pretty useful. We're going to test that out this time and we're going to run with Fender system this time just so they pack a little bit more punch. For the platform gun, we're just going to run 212. I like the enemies that rock, walk around the plascrete foam a lot. Uh, just, you know, adds a little bit of utility utility to your platform gun even more. I like to run lures pretty much always. You could also run proximity mines as we've discussed in our other video, but I'm going to run lures. For my armor build, I pretty much always go 3113. And for this time around, I have been talking some poopy on Born Ready. This is not the specific video that's going to be better for Born Ready. I think a Warthog build along with a Breach Cutter would be better sh would better show off how useful it is. Uh, but this allows me to not have to go re reload mods, which is really, really good. Frees up a little bit of space on some other classes. Uh, we might be using Born Ready a little bit more here on this channel. I used to think it was pretty terrible, but now I've, uh, I've had my eyes opened a little bit on how good it can possibly be. Uh, so on certain characters, like the Engineer and maybe an Auto Cannon Gunner or potentially even a scout, this can be kind of good. I wouldn't use it on the driller per se, because I don't really have a lot of reloading going on, but if you are maybe running a low ammo capacity flamethrower build with the subbatah, the pistol, then I guess you could maybe run it then too. We are going to run thorns, we are going to run deep pockets, because I don't like to go back to things. And we're going to go iron wheel, and we're going to go dash this time, just so we can run away and uh, kite things a lot. Alright y'all, so we got a double XP more kite mission, along with the more kite beer. We're going to attempt do this twice. Let's rush this. 
Get the beer. Get the beer. Let's go. Do this thing twice. Hey guys, I mentioned animation cancels briefly in this video, and I didn't really get to show that off very well during the course of the game. I thought I'd get to show it off with the best available weapon for the animation canceling, as this would be the Warthog. So here we're going to shoot once, and we're going to go through the entire animation, reload animation one time, so time it out. And then now to do an animation cancel, you simply need to right click or left click as the number in the bottom right turns to 11. Let's try it out. See, that's much quicker. This can also be done with your breach cutter. Let's watch the full animation now and time it. Now let's do a let's do an animation cancel with this. And it's done. Another kind of animation canceling you can do is pickaxe animation canceling. So let's do a regular swing. If you notice the backswing as it's returning to you uh, is unnecessary and does not matter so all you need to do is once the pickaxe makes contact with something you let go real quick then you would go slightly faster than you normally would it's not a huge increase but uh, it is a slight increase over your normal pickaxing and can help you uh, do a little bit more damage when you're fighting things close up not 100% sure, but I believe that also you can shoot your platform gun a little faster with your with an animation cancel. This is a normal, this is as quickly as you can get it before, uh, normally. I think you actually can shoot that slightly faster if you animation cancel after every single shot. Let's do it. Alright guys. Got a lever already, that's cool. We're going to, we are in a double XP Morkite mission, and we have the Morkite beer. But we're really going to be trying to rush this. I want to get this done as quickly as possible so we can do a, another round of it. You got those two XPs up. You definitely want to try to get them done as quickly as possible. Go two in a row. Hell, sometimes if you get point extraction missions, you can get three in a row if you're quick. That's what we're going to do. some comp gold over here. Just take a sweet time, old lady. What fun old time? I haven't used a stubby in a long time. I've been like really uh, into the Warthog whenever I play NG. Uh, mostly, I just like, you know, shotguns are always fun. In, like every game you ever play. They're great in Halo. They're great in like Doom. Uh, you know, Gears of War. Any shooter video game you can name probably has a good shotgun in it. Uh, so they're just fun to use. Good, we got a driller. That's always fun. I like to give, you know, my teammates a rocket stone when they look. Now we're all here to do a job, and that's to mine, alright? But, uh, oh, hello. Uh, two leeches, nice. Thank you. Gotcha. A slight uh, drop, so I'm gonna shoot one more just so he can jump up there in case I missed. I feel like I'm gonna get leashed again. I already got leashed once. Is 
apparently it's actually better to, instead of trying to reload your entries, uh, according to our friend X1 Alpha Crime Fighter, the freaking DRG genius for the channel, I guess. Hopefully he comes back and comments in some more, because I want to keep learning, and then hopefully if you guys look at his comments, maybe you'll learn a little bit more with me. We'll just, oh, we got a, we got a bulk up there, huh? Well, that's exciting. want to make sure that the scout get that, but I think he's off doing scout things, so he may not have the time. We got a leech. Yeah, I, uh, I play a lot of scout, so I get it. You got a lot of shit to do as a scout. And you have the ability to do a lot of shit, so it's like way more fun to do it. Definitely a class that makes you feel like you can just do anything by yourself, which you kind of can, really. You might not kill uh, entire waves like a driller might, or a gunner might as quick, but you'll do it a little slower than them. Not just a little, you'll do it a lot slower than them, but it'll happen. That's not good. We're gonna get overwhelmed a little bit. already. Right, let's rely on our turrets a little bit more. It's so fun to shoot the stubby though. Kind of saying that this has a little bit of low ammo, and like I said, you need to rely on those uh, sentry guns a lot. And as long as you got a lot of nitro, then you can keep this up. But on some missions, you might not get a lot, and then or you'll die a bunch, or they'll send a million swarms after you. Luckily, we're in more kite missions, so I don't have to worry about that as much as you would in say a uh, mining refinery or a point extraction mission where the waves are endless. Not only endless, but they get worse as time goes on. All sorts of paths to go here, honestly. May have not even really finished that one room. He'll get it.
Come on, Yosef, my boy. That was a weird noise for a dog to make. Twing! That was a pretty good sound, too. I should be a voice actor. My gunner friend found some friends. Let's see who he's bringing to the party. In NG2, I like to shoot out stuff to like help it. Oh boy. In case of imminent death and danger, like this. Get him. Get the Matoritos. That's probably not it. Is the way. That's a topical meme. Ooh, look at that explosion. Explosion. Electrocution. Hello. fancy thing you can do with these spitballers is block off their path of their shooting. If you stand behind that, they can't hit you. If I had more, then I'd be able to show you way more, but whoopsie doo. Oh no. We got our gunner here doing this shenanigans. Maybe we'll just put this here. That way when they're coming to him, he'll get shot by our friendly turrets here. I like that plan, me. Good plan, me. Get electrocuted, nerds. It just destroys them. It goes through like butter. Not a great place for these things. I'm seeing that now. It's right here. Yosef, no! Here, gosh, dang it. Oh, it did. Okay, okay, I did it that time. Nice. Hi. Hey. 
bad that I'm not focusing on the team fight anymore. I don't know. They'll never know unless they watch this video. They'll never see how famous they'll be. I resupply too, huh? Dang. I hope you guys kind of like this build. This is this is actually a, a build I've never ran before, and I really like it actually. Uh, oh, hello! This has been one of the more interesting builds I've ran. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of damage. Let's try this again. Oh, a little early. Bam! Got it. Okay. Bad stuff here. Yeah. You're not. There's a leech up there. Moist. That is up just in case we get swarmed. Let's get this going. Let's do it again. Or here. Get into my yeah! I got it, yes. I thought I was really struggling with that. Over here, boys. Oh, he wants to go this way. We can leave now. Driller boy, come here. Come to me. Drill us to the drop pod. You got it. There we go. You want to be really cheeky, you can just do this. It wasn't me. But it was me. Well, there's something big, I think. Oh, there's something big digging for us. Molly beat us, dang. We suck. Uh oh. Hmm. 
Can't forget about that bulk. I guess we gotta go. Oh, get that gold. Nice. Look at that. What a clutch shield. No! Oh, GG, y'all. No! That's too bad. Well, rest in peace, whatever your name is, Egg, Egg, Eggeats, whatever, Thriller.